This pick, Neil, highly leveraged to an area that would face sequestration and also a consumer that could be constrained. Sure. So, first of all, thanks for having me. It's great to be here. You know, General Dynamics is one of our core holdings. We've owned it for a while. We continue to be bullish on the stock. General Dynamics is a great defense company, on top of which you're getting one of the best ultra-luxury good manufacturers in Gulfstream at the same time. Now, as you all have been talking about, we think at the last possible moment, after Republicans and Democrats have exhausted every other alternative, they'll do the bare minimum and kick the can down the road on most of it. We don't actually think sequestration is likely to hit. We think General Dynamics business is a strong business with the, the business airplane sector, a lot of exposure to emerging markets outside the U.S. Their tech services business is doing well. Even their combat and marine divisions, we think, are going to be more resilient than people are giving them credit for. And they've got a, a blue chip balance sheet, very strong balance sheet, low debt levels, strong cash generation, around 10 percent free cash flow yield, and trading at around 10 times earnings right now. So we like its long-term fundamentals. We don't think it's a short-term flip. But again, we think that Republicans and Democrats will kick the can down the road. Mm -hmm. And remember, the fiscal cliff is not really a cliff. Even if we come to January 1st, it's more of a hill. And they actually have a little bit more time than people are giving them credit for. And that's why I think the markets are not overreacting right now. And there is this notion that you can go over the cliff and then you can sort of go back, grandfather it in. But at the same time, for a company like General Dynamics, at what point do they, will they actually feel, even if it's just one month's worth of, worth of sequestration, at what point do you start getting concerned that it will, in fact, at least impact that quarter? Well, that's a very good point. It, could, it certainly could impact the quarter if it, if it goes for weeks or months, absolutely. And I think... Maybe even the bigger factor is, I think you talked about it, which is there will be volatility as we approach the cliff. And if we go over the cliff, even if it's for a few days or a few weeks, there will be a lot of volatility in the markets. That could be buying opportunities for all of us that have uh, some dry powder for which to deploy. You know, again, I've talked to you about this before. We tend to be more long-term holders. We tend to buy stocks and hold them for years rather than weeks or months. And for us, General Dynamics is a good long-term holding because we don't think that defense spending cuts are coming uh, anytime soon.